What's up guys, see that you're back again for another Town of 10 war base. So this base I made myself and I've been using it in the war for like a month or two now. And it's been, been working perfectly for me. I mean, obviously it's not the best war base. It's not perfected, but you can make tweaks in there if you to make it to fit your own style. But for me, it has defended against max Town of 10s and even some Town of 11s, which is very good. If a Town of 11 attacks you and they only 2 storm, a town of 10, they failed. And look, my base is still basically basically a town of 9. I have level 1 infernos. One of my expos is still level 2. And not even, all my walls are not even level 10 yet. And I have an ultra tower and cannon still trying to get to a max town of 9. So this is a fairly new town of 10. With only level 1 infernos. And this base is defending against a bunch of different attacks. Ending from miners, valkyries, to bowlers. So I have some uh, attack replays for you guys to show you, but before that, let me show you the base real quick. So this is the base I'm walking. Once again, it's not the best base. You can change things around, but this is the setup I use. And it has been working well for me. It's very good at wasting time from the attacker. Like, you don't know how many times people would attack me. Like, Town 11s will get like 90 and above percent. That's good. The whole point of a good base is sometimes not to defend, but sometimes also to waste time. So you get that edge. So, anyways, enough chit chatting. Let me hop into the replays. I'll see you guys there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this was attack. You can tell is a max tunnel 11 with max heroes. Look, a 45, 45, 20 heroes. And he has, he's using a minor, so this is a minor attack. So I'm gonna show you a bunch of different attacks today to prove that this base can hold up on itself. It will be 3 stored eventually, but the whole point is to waste enemy attacks. So yeah, he has completely maxed troops and he's going in, so yeah. My clan castle and heal setup over here on the top right is supposed to waste uh, the time for the enemy. So like when the enemy is, I have a, let's see, I usually keep a lava hound in my clan castle. And that lava hound usually distracts the queen, especially with the queen walk, for a very long time. So that's a good couple, like 15 or 20 seconds, the queen's wasting on that lava hound. And a balloon, just for good measures. But yeah, you can tell now, he's already wasted, like a whole minute, no, it's only a minute into the into the attack. And that lava hound just popped, so just, that goes a minute, and my base, he only has like 21% damage on my base. And you see my two infernos and that little tunnel in the middle, if like boulders go in that tunnel, they're basically done. Cause that's like the tunnel of death. Cause usually if bowlers go down straight that middle, they will not target my Inferno Tower since the couple spaces are far away. But yeah, he has, he's coming in with bowlers on the side. But they are just gonna get sapped up by my Wizard Tower over there. So at this point, he's just sending his miners from the top right into my trap, my Inferno Trap. And remember guys, I only have level 1 Infernos. And it, was, it looked like his Queen died and my Tesla form, my Tesla Trap is still up. So this is looking good for me. So now it's just a bunch of miners, max miners, but yeah, those miners are not going to do anything. My Inferno Tower is just going to burn through those miners. Well, my Inferno Tower isn't doing that much, but my Tesla form is still up, which is definitely good. Yeah, this he has no more spells left. Like, those miners are good under heal spells, but without heal spells, they get destroyed so quickly. And he was not expecting my Tesla form in that bottom right. So that's very good. My Tesla form is going to stay up. He has no more hero spells. So those miners should just get completely vaporized. And also, I um, some people don't like it, but I put my Builder Hearts on the corners. Most people usually just pick them up with archers, but sometimes people forget. Like, like I have once in a while, like one dude just forgets one Builder Hut, one Builder Hut is in the corner. And that gets you the defense, 99%. Hey, take a defense victory whenever you can. Because Town of 11s usually destroy Town of 10s. And you can see the replay is going to end pretty soon. He wasted so much time trying to get my clan castle and my heroes. And those storages really made a difference on that uh, queen walk. So yes, yeah, successful defense against a max Town of 11. Alright, hold on tight guys. I'll be back for the second replay. Alrighty guys, this is not Town of 11, but this is... A max town of 10 going in with a bowler attack. So he has 40, 40 heroes. So yeah, max town of 10. He's once again going from the same corner. Like, trust me, this corner, they don't want to go because all those storages over there and both heroes and the clan castle. 
queen walks will just waste so much time. Yeah, here we go. His queen is almost gonna go down too. But yeah, those that lava hound. Yeah, people underestimate the lava hound. Like people say it sucks. It doesn't do anything. It's not. The, it's not supposed to do any damage. It's supposed to waste time. What? And you can witness this carefully. It's wasting a lot of the uh, queen's time. All right, all right. And he's dropping a couple boulders at the bottom. But yeah. Also, I forgot to mention, even if the lava hound pops, the queen has to wait like another 5 to 6 seconds taking out those lava pups. She might even get distracted, yeah. She just spent like 5 seconds taking out those lava pups. Each second matters. Like for you attack us out here, you know how much each second matters. Those 99, those 98% hood. Okay, so this guy found my Tesla trap. So he's gonna try and take it out. But, his wall break was failed. Yes guys, I put my tip put your little bombs on the edges of your um base so that way you will take out take out uh, wall breakers see here he had to waste a jump spell right there at the beginning to take out one of my uh, to get over one of my walls because his wall breakers failed put your little bombs on the outside because most people will not be expecting that some people don't even test to see if there's a bomb they just drop all the wall breakers at once so his troops are marching through my base but I have one phone the tower left and he has normal spells. And that attack is basically done. The golden failed to defend. So yeah, those wall breakers really messed him up. Like, he expected to break through that compartment. But it failed. So that threw him off. Any little thing you can get off on your attacker to make them at a disadvantage. It will add up in the long run. Like, just like one, if you can get like destroy one wall breaker, it might make a difference in the long run. This is what this base is all about. So yeah, this attack is basically over. I'll see you guys in the last replay for today. Okay guys, this is not a max town of 10, but I it, they do have max uh, Valkyrie. So I just want to show an example. It's the one using Valkyrie on, on this base. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. But usually Valkyries, tend to destroy level 1 infernos because level 1 infernos do not do enough damage to take them out especially put them under a rage or they freeze it but yeah let's take a look generally 80% of attackers usually attack from my queen side which is really what I want because they can destroy my whole entire base but if they attack from my queen side they usually run out of time like all like 90% of the time they will run out of time so that he has to drop down a rage on his queen so he loses out my clan castle, which again is a lava hound in a balloon. Just slowing her down. And my king's still alive. My king's on a, a four a top, so he should be alive. He um whatever you can keep alive is good. So the lava hound's gonna pop. And the queen's gonna be distracted a little bit more. Yeah, it's been a minute into this attack already, and he has 18%. So that's a whole good minute wasted. I love that. I love when they attack from up here. So he's sending in his Valkyries. So he's falling straight from my trap. He wants his Valkyries to go straight down the middle. And then a couple of bolos. Yeah, so he's basically all his troops are going down the middle. Yep, the just by right through it. That's perfect. I just want my infernos. Those infernos, 10 laser beams on those Valkyries. Oh, they're just getting smoked. Yeah, I took out a bunch of Valkyries right there. So yeah, and at this point, he just has a bunch of troops scattered across the map. And there comes my Tesla trap. Usually, people don't expect a Tesla trap right there, which is a good location. I mean, once again, you, once if you guys use this space, you can move stuff around. But I like my Tesla traps right there because that's what uh, works for me. But yeah, his queen is still up, but there's only a minute left, and most of his other troops are going down. Yeah, I have a lot of troops left. Yeah, usually, even if, if they attack from the top uh, right and they go through my base, by the time they get through my, to my Inferno Towers, a lot of the troops are dead. Like, imagine if these were level 3 Inferno Towers, if I was a max Town of 10, instead of a little puny Town of 9 with like 2 Inferno Towers. Imagine that this base would actually be pretty, pretty good. Once again, I'm not saying this is the best base, but it works so far. I mean, I do get 3 still once in there, but that's just getting overran by like a max town on like 11 with like a bunch of balloons and stuff. But yeah, he could have 3 stored this base if he had more time, if he didn't waste uh, like all that time in the beginning. Remember guys, please 
waste their time. That's the whole point. See, this is definitely winnable. That expo can't even that expo can't even take out the queen. But yeah, that was the victory. All right, guys, let's go over some key points of this base. The point of this base is not to completely destroy the enemy army. It's to waste their time. Cause any town of ten will probably get wrecked by a town of eleven. Cause the troops are just too powerful. So that's why you have to waste their time. Make them waste a whole minute taking out the clan castle. So they went out of time. A victory is a victory. It's their fault. It's not your fault. They wasted their time, right? And in the end, like town of ten is usually like my clan is a town of nine, town of ten, town of eleven. Any defense, because usually town of nine get all three swords, but any defense on the town of ten will make a huge difference. So that's my one of my biggest tips for any base for town of ten. Waste their time. Also, the other tip I gave was put your mini bombs outside. Destroy those wall breakers. Most people don't check if see, to see if there's a wall. Um, what is it? A uh, mini bomb there. So if you catch them off guard, no wall breakers will sincerely mess up their attack because they can't funnel the troops to go around the whole entire base. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.